master has been presented, right? So uh, that's some of the household. And uh, by the way, for those of you who are not very familiar with me, you know, uh, me, I'm Kevin Chan here. So I'm a consultant instructor for the Joe Yap Consulting Group. So uh, today we will be doing a bit of a presentation on the forecast for the month of July. Right, so according to the uh, Chinese calendar, right? So uh, I personally authored two books. The first book is Faster Road to Success, and the second book is Faster Road to Parenthood. So if you are interested in buying some local author book, right, consider these two books into your library. Right, so it will be able to help you a bit in terms of understanding parts of yourself and also your children. So uh, I also spend a bit of a time, you know when the pandemic was not around appearing on stage doing public speaking, you know, especially on property related platform on uh, news and also you know, on our uh, local program. Right, so that's what I do. Right, so uh, this month we are doing the forecast for the month of uh, July. So it will be the 7th July until the 6th of August. Right, so uh, just for the point of uh, notification or, you know, just for you to know that the Chinese uh, solar calendar does not run on the English calendar. Okay, so that's why the date uh, will shift every single month, right? So it is the uh, month of uh, wood coat, or in our term is called wood waves. Uh, so it's twenty twenty one wood coat uh, year, right? So uh, let's move on to it, right? So uh, for you, you have to get your parcel printed, right? So uh, because there's one vital information that you might not have if you are not a normal practitioner of uh, Chinese metaphysics, right? So a normal person would know their year of birth, the animal sign of birth, they would know a lot about that. Uh, but we don't use the animal sign. At least uh, my forecast wouldn't be using any of the animal sign. At all. I'll be using the day master, uh, which is a much more representative uh, version of you. And we will take a look at what uh, what does the monthly energy do, right? So go to this particular website, get your parts which are printed. So when you print your puzzle chart already, uh, the part that you want to take a look at is called the day master. So it's under the day pillar. So the day pillar will always be highlighted in yellow in this version of the software. So you'll be looking at the top. So there are 10 different versions of them. And this one in the example is called a jar, right? Or called a yang wood. So I'll go through all 10 of them and you know, give you some forecast on what you expect for each of the day master so that is the point of reference that i'll be using so you need to print your parcel chart go to the website find out what's your day master and that's the one that we'll be using so uh we won't be talking about any of the uh, animal sign at all right so uh just for your information uh this month is actually quite a crucial month in terms of uh, the year 2021 because it's the month of the goat and the goat is clashing together with so this year is the year of the auction. Right? So this is called a year breaker month, which is a very, very uh, tough transition month for everybody. Because this is the official fight month of the entire year. Right. So uh, if we take a look of the uh, auspicious star that is around, you know, so uh, there is uh, the earth relief and also the month emptiness. Uh, so which is good, both of them are very auspicious star. Uh, now, like for example, the Earth Relief basically tells you that whatever problem that you get into, the solution is always available at the end. That is the good news about it. So the bad news about it is that you still have to go through all the difficulty. Right? So there's nothing for you to bypass the difficulty. So uh, just put it into this, this month is basically a false upgrade for everybody. Right, so if you're still a little bit stubborn with the current situation, uh, this is the month for you to basically face all your stubbornness right at the face. Right, happy, happy. Right, so that's what I did. So um, anyone with an ox inside your chart uh, is a clashing month. So it's okay, don't worry. You know, I have an ox inside my chart. Right, so uh, don't get too upset. You know, don't get too happy with the situation or whatever it is. Right, so if you have a horse inside your mind, it is a combined. I also have horse inside my mind. <laughs> <laughs> inside my chart right so so this month is a clash and combine one all together with me some area happy some area not very happy so well we take whatever that is uh available cool right so uh that's what we can uh take a look right so uh we will go into each and every one of the um day master i'll try to explain as much as the technicality as possible you know uh, because some from my community are a little bit you know do i be advanced one you know i will explain a bit of the technicality 
for those of you who are new one who have no prior foundation on the technicality side it's okay you know don't worry about that right so um you can still enjoy it so we will start with the uh jia wood right so uh jia wood if you take a look right so uh the yi wood basically represent the uh rock wealth so uh this one and then the uh, way the goat here would have a hidden direct wealth uh, in them in terms of your chair so it's a rock wealth sitting on a direct wealth so traditionally we completely hate this combination this is one of the worst combination you can have a rock wealth sitting on direct wealth so uh the you know the folklore interpretation is that you know you will lose all your money yeah. that's the folklore interpretation right? so uh, of course you know most of the time i do not like the folklore interpretation it's about how you strategize yourself during this sort of period so if you already know that you're going to have a lot of rival and you know you are sitting on the wealth star this month so which means that you do have some you know uh, opportunity that you can unearth that you have right now instead of taking a look at the situation as a rivalry situation right, why don't you take a look at it as an investment situation now take a look at very big company nowadays how they work they don't compete with other company anymore so when they see that there is another company starting to develop certain product or certain services that tend to be their rival so what they do they prepare a sum of money and they invest into that particular company straight away yep they literally force you to take investment from them right so uh that's the part that they do you have to do basically the same so that's why you know uh you need to learn how to basically break up your work and to be able to sell some of your work out create job opportunity uh, make collaborative effort together with other people right so you have to separate some of your work out to other people because other people can see that you know you have work there so if you try to be selfish and have all the work together right so right so you're asking for a problem right so you control what you give out to people but you have to give up to people you're like a corporation that create jobs for other people so you have money coming in you've got deal coming in you want to create job opportunity for people right? so if you're jia wood that is what you want to do so of course you know when the rock wealth is around you know you do need to be careful of the money management portion of it especially if you already have an ox or you already have a good inside which right? because you're gonna have a clash and the clash is involving your well stuff right so um that's what that you want to do cool right so this is for you if you are a jia wood person learn how to work together with people learn how to share your opportunity with other people think of it as really you're a big company you are investing a sum of money into a smaller company right think of it at that particular manner don't think of them as taking a chunk of money out of you Right, so if you uh, want to just want to fight with them, that is likely what's going to happen. You're going to lose a chunk of your own uh, investment. You may as well just invest into the other company. Okay, so uh, if we take a look at Yi Wood, so Yi Wood will be having the friend star sitting on top of the indirect well star. So uh, when you take a look at the friend star itself, it means that you know, a lot of people with the same mindset They're basically going to gather around you. So you have an opportunity because you have a seven killing in the year. So seven killing is able to trim friends up. So uh, use that particular energy to start to shape the people around you. So you need to be able to uh, select who stay, who need to be. Right? So that is an active um, job that you need to uh, basically do, right? Um, because of the indirect well, now indirect well always is talking about you know um certain onset of opportunity it is not an opportunity that is basically consistent so it's a certain opportunity that you see uh, most likely it is brought forward by the people that's around you right so just now well is that you need to share out right so when you have friends star uh basically people might bring the thing in for you right so you know that's what happened is that uh you might want to use it in terms of a little bit of uh, incentive okay so you can use it to basically incentivize uh those people that is around you you know so uh those that you want them to stay together in your circle you want to incentivize them a little bit of course you know those that you know the person is not very helpful in you know your direction that you want to go 
we call dead weight or you know uh, we call loose end you know you want to start cutting them off uh, right so uh that's the part right so uh if you carry around people who are you know not very helpful to you right? so what happened they become dead weight and that hamper the uh, confidence of the people around you right so they question your leadership quality they also question that you know why you allow such a people to be around you right? so you need to be slightly a little bit more careful with the things that choices of them that you're around now this has nothing to do whether the person is a good person or a bad person right? nothing to do with this sort of uh, perspective i know just because the person is good but he is not contributing to your journey uh, let him walk his path that's why i call letting them go let him walk his path don't, don't drag him into your path so allow them to walk their path right so you walk your particular path so it's time for you to let them go they have their road that they need to go you have your road that you need to go right so for those that who's supposed to be on your path you incentivize them right because you got a little bit of a you know side income coming in like this month. so you got indirect wealth there right? so use that a bit of a side income there as an incentive for those people who are around you cool right so that's what you do if you are a uh, yeet wood personnel uh, yeet wood personality Right, so you can basically uh, do that, right? So uh, if you want a graphical image of it, you know, I don't know, you know, go and watch some uh, bonsai video. Right, so uh, how they basically shape, twist, cut, and you know, redo the entire bonsai for the bonsai to look the way that they need to. Now, a bonsai doesn't naturally grow the way that you see the end product bonsai. It's a very long process of cutting. It's a very long process of, you know, twisting the entire tree for it to grow in a certain manner and direction that suits what you want so you are actually doing exactly the same thing right now that you are trimming and guiding your own life path so you have to make a lot of tough decisions as if who stay and who's go so which means which branch of your bonsai stay which branch of your bonsai go yeah. start become a botanist of your own personal bonsai go and watch a bonsai show <laughs> <laughs> right so uh next one uh is basically the uh Bing fire right so uh uh this year Bing fire seems to be pretty uh awesome up until right now <laughs> right so uh news for you all so you know now uh the Bing fire because in the beginning of the year uh the wood and then the fire will basically help the Bing fire in terms of bolstering its energy so that's why first half of the year seems okay the Bing fire now second half of the year is going into the colder side of the, uh, the year so uh the Bing fire energy will start to dwindle right so if you are the Bing fire then you know uh, it's time for you to make a bit of a you know, what we call um pack a bit of a uh, backpack for yourself you know so that you know you don't get into a lot of problem right so uh Yibu is a resource star to you so specifically it's a direct resource and you are sitting on a hurting officer so hurting officer has a lot to do with gaining attention sharing things out so what you need to share is to share the knowledge that you basically has accumulated for the past six months right so you need to share opportunity right so whatever that you have learned all your learning for the past six months it's time for you to sit down and basically share it out with people that's how you use the hurting officer so you are hurting officer already get attention so when you have attention you already have audience right so then what you do make sure you have a good story to tell the audience so of course you know uh Bing fire I like to go on on and on and on and on and on you know please uh, don't be too long-winded right so uh not too much detail uh, tell people the final lesson right so um don't go and tell the entire grandfather's story you know from sunset to sunrise and then back to sunset again right so uh make sure that the thing that you uh, present to people are actionable and also uh, practical right so that's what you want to do now uh, storytelling has always been a very powerful tool set in human so we started long long time ago by sitting around the cave campfire telling story to our children our next generation about the big bad wolf and so you know that's how you transfer life lesson from one generation to one generation it is true storytelling right so you also know that you know even as the children when you are small at that time what do your parents do the parents start telling you fairy tale story so you know that storytelling is very very important and also 
uh, this particular month you need to be a storyteller uh, you need to be a particular storyteller itself so uh, as you can see uh, because this month the clash is basically uh, the main energy that is having a bit of a shake up is the hurting officer energy uh, chances of you garnering unwanted attention is basically there so you have the attention ready you better get your story ready right so get your story all ready up and you know so that you can give a good lesson to the people around cool right so that's the part you want to do up in fire so i'm expecting some good story from uh fellow being fire around right so uh let's move on and take a look at the uh thin fire right so uh thin fire if we take a look so thin fire have a uh indirect resource right indirect resource uh, as compared to the direct resource indirect resource basically is on the intuitive level indirect resource usually doesn't care too much about detail and you're sitting on the eating god formation now indirect resource eating god formation is not a good formation for traditional uh, reading uh, that is called the owl stealing the food uh, we don't like this particular formation at all right so uh this basically tells you of eccentricity. You see, uh, the indirect resource basically is somebody who has intuitive level understanding. Intuitive level understanding means that you cannot explain to people where they come from. <laughs> Eating God is a person who always think ahead. They like to dream about things that is basically ahead. So when he dreams about things that is uh, ahead, which means that it just also doesn't have fundamental basis. You see, uh, doesn't know where the idea comes from, no fundamental basis. So what the hell are you thinking? So it's an eccentric thinking type of person. Uh, you have some idea inside your brain, but you absolutely do not know where it comes from and where it's going. So that's why, you know, but you have a very strong feeling that this is the correct things to basically do. Right, so that's how you basically uh, take a look at it. Right, so it's time for you to basically inspire other people. Now, not to convince other people to do the thing, it's basically just inspiring other people. Just imagine you are the, you know, the uh, match that has been light up already. So your your job right now is just to light up the rest of the matches. Right? So you want to uh, be contagious in terms of your fire. Right? So you want to be very excitingly go out there and you know what I'm thinking about, you know, just share out all the information. Right, so you might have conflicting vision. Conflicting vision means that, you know, very simple. Huh? Previous history doesn't support your future thoughts. Right? Your future thought doesn't seem to have a previous history to, you know, match, you know. So you are talking about, you know, creating something that other people might not accept. Like, for example, you know, I love to use this example, which is, you know, iPhone. When iPhone came out that time, it was the phone that tell people that, hey, you do not need any keyboard. It was during a time when, Blackberry was doing very well with the full keyboard on the phone. And everybody was saying that, wow, you have managed to put a full keyboard on the phone. Great, man. And then iPhone came out with you know, a phone that doesn't have a keypad at all. Now, at that point in time, you are pointing people to a direction that doesn't have any historical thing. Right? So it's a crazy thing. And now, at that point in time, you are very eccentric. But today, if you take a look at it, you know, if you've got one key in front of your phone, ah, everybody, you know, say that you're crazy. Yeah. How can you got key inside your phone? Ah, so old-fashioned, look at my phone. Flush until the end, you know, wrap up, you know, everything. Right, so you can see, yeah, right, so this is it, right? So uh, we both try stuff out. Right, so, you know, uh, safest way is just to throw your idea out into the open. Right, so it's like you know light up the can uh, light up the matches and see why it burn <laughs> dangerous <and fun. laughs> take a box of candle and light things up and then throw here things uh, like throw there see where see where you light up right so and based on what basically uh, lights up yes uh uh hanzo hanzo that's yes uh, this is based on your day 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 master right? so all my forecasts are based on day master so this is the uh, thing five so very very exciting man you know just throw your idea out and see which one stick see which one start burning uh. then you work on the burning idea pretty simple right? so don't really need to you know uh just don't do that particular part why right, whereby you know uh, you need to accept this idea must accept this idea you know, must accept the idea right? so no because it's very difficult for you to even explain where your idea come from where your idea is going I just throw the idea out and see who wants who sticks and you know just do that 
still plenty plenty of time now uh, don't worry about it all right half a year only now right so uh work the yang earth version of it right so if you see the yang earth version of it so you got the direct officer on the top so uh every time you see the direct officer it's always about rules and regulation right so then you have the rock wealth sitting on the bottom so uh the rock wealth is slightly a bit of the rebel right so the rock wealth always try to find way around that's what the rock wealth do right so you know, they just trying to find a way around so uh if you want to see this direct officer and rock wealth and together you know that the year have the hurting officer there so uh you are really like talking about a police officer suddenly appeared uh, in a very rebellious area <laughs> so it described our current uh what we call movement control a lot you know suddenly right now you've got roadblocks all over the places you know people putting bad wire around the house. <laughs> very scary right so you know uh this is a situation uh that is happening uh for the uh, yang earth right so you need to start to re-evaluate the rule that you have existing or the way that you are doing things in an existing manner you know is it really right or is it really wrong way of doing it start to do this sort of thinking right now as the direct officer step in right so uh don't overstep boundary right so uh the now, always remember rules and regulation are there because there's a reason for it and the normal reason is because before this your forefather has done something wrong and it's because of this and the rules and regulation is set up in such a way that you know you put it in a way you know so it just put, put it in a way like why do they have roadblock blocking people from going from here to there it's because you know when they don't put roadblock that time you do not know how to stay home that's all simple enough enough actually the police officer also don't want to be don't, don't want to do the roadblock one but here's the thing you just people ask you to stay home you know you, you know got do no do also you just go all over the places and you know numbers go up right so uh go and find all those beliefs that is basically dated already like right now during the pandemic there's actually a lot of belief that is very very dated like for example you know must go to office is it really is it really must go to office? Right, so now I, I think work will have a bit of a tough time, you know, um, not going to office because they have been very used to going to office, right? So they ask them not to go office right now. They may be struggle a little bit, you know. They may try to find way around and trying to go to the office, you know. Maybe you want to reevaluate that. Right, I don't know what uh you know what are the beliefs that you hold on very tightly on work is notorious for holding on to them. Right? let go of it now that the rule and regulation is being sit down and basically take a look you know what's the reason behind this rule what's the reason behind this particular you know regulation is that really something that is warranted right so if it's really something that is required you know just adopt it simple as that right? no point fighting too hard yes i know this um in my year you have hurting officer accompanying you the entire year it's like you know you're looking for a way to basically <laughs> do stuff it's fine right so don't worry about that right so let's take a look at our uh gf right so uh gf then you've got your seven killing coming up already right so you've got seven killing up so uh gf seven killing is basically mean toiling the soil right? so toiling the soil mean good enough right? so for gf toiling the soil mean that the next phase is planting something so you basically love that so uh gf mean taking things taking the challenge uh, taking the challenge head on Right, so imagine that you are a bull fighter. Right, so grabbing the bull by the horn. Right, so you need to take uh, action. Right, so you need to basically take action. You got the seven killing there. You know? Just don't worry, the seven killing is not very harmful because you are got the almighty eating god around for this particular year. So the eating god will basically control the seven killing. So uh, seven killing measures your willingness to take courageous action. Right, so uh, taking courageous action is dangerous when you only got one option. But eating God allow you to have multiple options. So that's why, you know, you can go and implement a few of the options. And then you'll be able to see which one yield a better result. And you can stick to the option that has better results. So that's why eating God pairing with seven killing is a very good pairing. Right? So the fella don't become too stubborn. The fella have option. Right? right? So uh, anytime you see seven killing out, you know, please, first thing you need to know is to protect your personal safety because seven killing do not know 
how to measure risk. From the eye of a person who's going through sudden killing, everything seems to be not scary, which makes the situation scary. You know, so to them, it's like, you know, things are not uh, very, very, uh, what you call uh, dangerous. The sense of danger become much more soft. So uh, that's how they see the uh, situation. So good month for you to basically jump into execution. The problem that come to you, you know, just go in and uh, pick it up, right? So uh, use some external help. You're sitting on brand stuff. So you do have external help coming to, uh, you know, assist you. Uh, do take up the external help uh, that's basically coming in, right? So uh, that's the part of, that you want to take a look. And also uh, always a seven killing when you mix together with the friends. Uh, it is always a good time to do some filtering. Right? So same advice I give to you together with the uh, e -book. Trying to take a look at, you know, who are your actual friends. Uh, now, during this sort of half time and seven killing is, uh, is the best time to uh, find out who are your real friends. Okay? So, those that, you know, push you into the hole versus those that pull you out from the hole. This is basically the best time for you to find out about it. You know, it is not about, you know, making enemy out of each other or what is that. This is the time for you to quickly know uh, how is your quality in terms of determining a person. Right, you need to know that lah. right so uh, it's about you know your future so you know if uh, now you have certain uh, perception on your friend and suddenly their action right now is you know the earth is the mother energy right the ma mother energy is like you know everything is okay you know they must have a reason you know i always give you uh you know what you call a reason for it you know so uh, the earth never question what they nurture Right, so you put whatever seed into it, you will grow, whether it's a good tree or a bad tree. Right, so that's the earth. And today is a good time for you to basically find out whether, you know, all this while, the way that you assess friend, is it good or bad? Right, take this sort of opportunity to basically do the thing that you need to do. Right, so next is the Yang metal version, the Kung metal. So the Kung metal have the direct wealth on top. The year is already rock wealth. <laughs> right, so and then you are sitting on resource star. Right, so now, uh, direct well resource star itself is basically quite good, uh, which means that you are getting uh, a lot of uh, what we call return from the thing that you are doing. So, direct well, so you know that uh, that's basically big opportunity, consistent opportunity coming in, aka you know, got money. When we see direct wealth, we always you know tell that maybe got money coming in, so it's a month whereby you'll be reaping a lot of reward. Okay, so resource star is about people giving you things. Right? So resource star is all about pumping. So it's about lesson uh, being learned. So what sort of lesson is basically being learned? <laughs> With the rock wealth on the year, so you know, it could be a lesson on financial. So first thing that I will tell you that this improves your financial literacy. Right? So you might think that, oh, easy money. So and then what happened here that, you know, the money you get, you know. So now, um. If you are inside, you are in my uh, Telegram community, you know, I sent you a video. <laughs> uh, basically, it's that situation, uh, you know, a fella who went out and then, you know, uh, catch a fish, really big fish. So while the person is taking photo, very happy, showing off his big fish, uh, you know, in front of the camera, uh, sea lion just jump out from his ship and then just pull away the fish. That's it. The fellow was like, huh? 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 Just finished taking picture on the fish and, you know, it's like, he got the reward, right? He went out and then he fished, you know, about a big fish. He was, you know, making a video on it. Let everybody see, yo, guys, look at my fish. And then, bah, gone. That's like, huh? All right, so you can see, uh, uh, the sea lion didn't even put in any effort into getting the fish. So the sea lion just jumped out and gently take the fish away. Right? So it signal wasted effort. All right, so, uh, which means that actually, if you are having a bit of a return or anything, don't flaunt your wealth. Right, so I usually say that you will flaunt your wealth and you know rock wealth around, you know, uh, officer start around, you know, hurting officer. And you can take a look at the uh, ox and then the goat clash. There is a direct officer and hurting officer inside that is clashing as well. So what this means that it could be a taxation issue. It could be a taxation issue. You know, in terms of business, I will tell you that you know please be careful of taxation issue. Things that you need to pay. 
right? So don't know, you know, it may be a licensing issue, it may be a you know, I don't know, licensing violation or whatever it is. So you go out and you know show people, hey, then you know you get into this sort of problem. Cool. So uh be careful of that. So a uh, our C metal counterpart. So C metal counterpart is also having the wealth star around. Right, so but this is indirect wealth so indirect wealth always we uh associate this with you know side money or you know what we call gambling money or you want to call lottery money or you want to call windfall whatever that you want to call it right so it's basically quick cash you will see a lot of quick cash opportunity right? opportunity to make a quick buck right so be aware of risks that basically come in right so uh do get other people involved this one uh, this one purposely said you know because why you know when you get other people involved right you get to uh, advantage one is that you get to lower the risk right so you're not the only person who has money into the situation second thing is that you also get additional analysis from people around you so that's why you want to get people involved so do remember you have a friend star around in the year so which means that it's very easy for you to pull additional resources in to help you with processing if you are not very good at it so which means that you know if there's any uh, investment related things that's coming in you know, ask for help now. so again right uh, always don't think of you know i want to get all the benefit on my own always think of if i have some benefit right now how can i share it out with the rest of the people all right so don't try to eat the entire cake you know you got fat like this. Uh, always share uh, with other people right so uh, all of this help you in terms of making decision in a more uh, clear manner especially if you are not well versed with the risk factor right uh, especially right now uh, there's a lot of people who will influence you and tells you that you know hey come you know believe in me you know uh, you know we go and invest this invest that you know a lot of them you know it's going to get you into a lot of problems Right, because why uh, you absolutely do not know what you're doing and you just go and believe because you got greedy uh, you got a lot of greed basically is going on right so a lot of people got into a lot of this but especially those uh, people who are in a bit of a desperation right now you know you know, offer them you know oh you no know, don't need to know everything very easy make money right? you know? no such thing guys every single cent required your effort to basically get this thing done. All right. Come, uh, next one. Next one that we're gonna take a look is uh, who is it? My favorite. I guess always my favorite. Run Walker. Right, because uh, that's me. Right, so that's me. <laughs> right, so I will take a run water. <laughs> so run water have the hurting officer. Up. No, it's not good to have your hurting officer up there and then you have a clash. <laughs> not good right so it's already uh during a clash situation then you know it's like you know you joining the uh what we call the uh, riot <laughs> you're the guy who's joining the riot and you're the one in the front uh doing the you know uh pulling in the attention right okay so uh be careful of uh what you are doing uh, in front of you know uh there is a uh there is a big chance of you getting that you know uh, five minutes of fame like, the center of attention uh, you know the hurting officer is there right so the hurting officer is sitting right on top of a direct officer so what are you trying to do right so you're trying to really you know step on the top of the boss and you know uh give problem right so you know uh in big sense you could be just creating a lot of nuisance for a lot of people right so like you know like right now um like for example right now you know everybody is already in a very uh, bad situation right so you can see a very bad situation then you go and lead some people and you know go and start a tunjuk perasaan riot so what's the point yeah you know we know that you know you are not in a, a good situation but you do not need to worsen the situation as in you will be draining resources in you know um, directing redirecting all the people into responding to you and of course you know uh, if you are doing this kind of thing right <laughs> come up coming right here. uh i say i'm the one starting the right <laughs> not joining the right joining the right is fine starting the right is the bad thing right black flag right so you know so you got so many flag going on right now okay please right so just be careful yes you know we know that everybody's in a pressing situation right so uh you know 
you need to face the consequence uh, if you are the person who's starting the consequence, right? So just be careful. Right, so uh, no, really, you can really see that the goat and the ox is basically a big mixture of officer and hurting, or, uh, hurting officer and officer mixture. Right, officer hurting officer mixture. So uh, next one, really big advice for those of you who got ox, who got goat inside your chart, especially if you are run water, you know. Oh, me, for for month. Okay, yeah, the month passed first. Right, so it is a very very. Uh, I'm fun man to be in for a run water. Unless you want to be absolutely famous, then for the rest of the year, you want to be absolutely miserable. <laughs> Don't go and do that. Right, so, right, so uh, if you are those of you who are in political ones, some more. <laughs> Politician, run water, try not to do anything, right? So there's a lot more man to go, right? So, uh, Next one is uh, Quill Water. Right? Don't be the head of the riot. La. Right, so uh, Quill Water pretty much quite okay. La. Quill Water is a eating god on 7 killing. So eating god on 7 killing is always uh, one of the best combination when it comes to problem solving. Right, eating god 7 killing combination is good for problem solving. So uh, this particular year, because your year stem is an indirect resource, uh, you think of what we call an unconventional problem solving. Right, so uh, use radical solution, right? So you basically can do a lot of uh, solution, which is very, very radical type of it, right? So now when we talk about radical solution is that, you know, um, concentrate on getting the problem solved rather than, you know, wasting your time on explaining to people how the problem is being solved. Don't, don't spend your time explaining the problem. No, you have to understand that uh, the people may not even have the capacity to understand your solution. Right, so uh, remember this month, if you think you also got the eating god indirect resource together. So when you see that the eating god and the indirect resource merge together, you just remember that it's an idea that comes from nowhere and very difficult to explain. You can't explain. Right? So if you spend your time trying to explain the idea to people, waste of time, you know, just get it done. Right, just get the particular idea done. Like for example, around you know, uh, if you're in the community, you will see that I send you a photo of a person who only got. If you have a remote control that requires two battery to operate, do you know that you can just put one battery inside for the remote control to operate? Yes, you can basically cross the circuit by putting the battery, and you can still use the remote control for some time. Now it's a temporary solution. Right, so this is called radical solution. It's a temporary solution to it, you know, until you can find, you know, until you can, until the stationary section is open for you to buy it. Seriously, I don't know why. Right, so execute the idea first. Right, so uh, put in, if you're gonna, you will need to put in some temporarily bandit idea, you know, do it. Right, so if you need to do bandit idea, you know, just get the bandit I, I, idea done, you know, don't, don't, don't feel bad about the entire situation. Right, so uh, all of this is basically all your 10 day master. Right, so you know, I'll go in and take a look at your question. Right, so uh, first of all, you know, um, if you want, you know, this particular episode will go on YouTube on the 6th of July, so which is, you know, tomorrow. That's pretty fast. <laughs> That's pretty quick. It used to be very slow. <laughs> so the office people right now has been much more efficient. So you will see it goes. So, you know, if uh, anyone of a friend is uh, need to basically, you know, uh, do this, uh, what we call uh, watch this, then you know, just uh, get to the YouTube side. Right now. So uh, we go in for the Q and A session. You know, let me just grow myself into the bigger version, or, or or I can bring out my uh, bigger brother. So I got this bigger brother. <laughs> Funny, I'm playing on this screen. Right, so let me just go in and take a look at some of your questions so that you now can answer some of your questions. Right, so uh, day master done. Uh, right, so let's take a look at Nile here. Okay, let me just readjust the screen so that it's easier for me to read. Okay, so let's bring out the question a bit, right? So uh, just wonder what's the difference between monthly and annual energy. Uh, Nile, uh, annual energy apply to the annual <laughs> Monthly energy applied to the monthly. <laughs> right, so now, 
imagine this right your monthly energy is your daily menu right so you go to the uh, market so you need to basically plan for a one day meal right so that is your yearly energy right so then you got lunch that is your monthly energy okay so you want to know daily energy is after you cook your lunch you know there's different dishes that is your daily energy right so uh, you want an imaginative way to take a look at the situation that's how you take a look at the situation and so that's your daily monthly uh daily uh yearly monthly daily energy you take a look at it right so you know that's how you take a look so uh yearly energy you usually use it for a uh, big year planning right so entire year what sort of direction you want to go monthly it's uh, a bit more strategic then daily you might use it for execution planning all right so uh we have uh j j j k uh t way does it mean that the month is good opportunity to pick up new leadership role t way is your day t way is your day uh pillar right so uh if you want to take a look at it we need to know what is a month of uh, uh, but generally, if you already have a way inside your chart, I wouldn't suggest. You see, I will pick up a leadership role during a clash month. Right? Get ready to fight. Clash always means fighting. Are you ready to fight for the role? If you are not ready to put up a fight, I suggest you might not want to. Right? So, you know, a lot of people say that, oh, I want to pick up a role. What do you think the role will seriously roll over for you to take it up right so you know that's what that you want to uh, take a look at uh, just just be careful uh, uh clash mean direct fight clash mean two energy that doesn't like each other is meeting uh, that's all clash mean. okay so uh louis wong here what about uh Kung metal horse uh, cash and combine at the same time a what about Kung metal horse? Don't understand your question. Right? Do not understand your question. Right? So uh, the horse has a combine together with the uh, what you call the goat. Right? So the combine basically at the demand and energy. Uh, unless you already have a goat inside your chart or you have a ox inside your chart, technically no clash is going on inside your chart. So you need to make it relevant to your chart first. Then uh, we can make a better conclusion. Right, so uh, we don't do comparison out of space. Right, so uh, yeet you, uh, let me just uh, scroll back to my notes on yeet first, see what we need to uh, deal with. Right, so uh, yeet you day master, uh, ji mao man, uh, mao man uh, this one, uh, mao is quite lonely one uh, for this year. This year the rabbit, doesn't really have anything. Many colleagues left the department, okay? So colleagues left the department, pretty much quite okay. There's a lot of handover to me, despite I'm not very familiar. Okay, good. Shall I stay or shall I? <laughs> uh, which is adapt, like, if you've got Mao Man, then you know, everything go to you, no help me. Quite okay, right? So it's pretty much quite all right. Right, so and uh, lose concentration. I'm handling more tasks, and at the same time, I am doing my part, uh, post grad study and part time self upgrading. How to improve concentration? Uh, you need, uh, you need to basically learn how to do compartmentalization. Right, this has uh, very little to do with uh, you know what we call Chinese metaphysics. Uh, learn how to work on one thing at a time. I right, don't try to do everything at the same time. Okay, so you are not there to rescue the world. Uh, but generally speaking, really, uh, because of your mouth, this year mouth doesn't really have any the rabbit. Do not really have any auspicious star around. Congratulations also doesn't really have a lot of bad star around. So you are technically on your own. Right, so, you know, handle things that you need to. Uh, take a look at the situation. Do not take a look at all the world as responsibility. Take a, take a look at them as learning opportunity. What can you learn from uh, this thing? Now, so uh, you need to have good preparation that, you know, all right, things will collapse. Right? Things collapse, you know, it's okay, it's not it's not your fault. Right? So it's basically a learning experience, all right? So uh, that's what you can uh, take a look at. 
Right, uh, Yi Yu Ji Mao Ji is basically your well stuff, quite okay, no? Right, so it's basically quite okay. So there's a lot of opportunity inside that you can take a look. No? Now, take this opportunity to basically learn one thing, right? What are the things that you can handle with your eye closed? <laughs> yes, there's going to be something inside there that you can handle with the eye closed, right? Now, once you know that that's the thing that you can handle the eye closed, right? right? So now here's what I want you to do. Concentrate on learning more about that particular task. Make that task your primary task for your career. Right? Like that, you can improve really, really fast. Okay? Now, it's during these sort of chaotic times that it is best to drop things because no one will blame you for dropping things during this time. If it's during good time, you drop things, right? Uh, <laughs> right, so, Chia uh, Day Master with a Keng Wu Man. Okay, good. So, it's a combined man. Chances of getting a new job, this one, okay, uh, quite all right. A uh, combined one, usually quite easy to get a job. Right, so, no, uh, here's the thing, uh, it's also a very competitive one. Right, Rockwell is all over the place now. You think you're the only fellow who wants the job. Right, so, uh, by the way, Lee, uh, July month is also a lot of, uh, it's a month of transition because it's a month of clashing, right? Yeah, a lot of people will be leaving their position. A lot of position will be open. Right, but are you competitive enough to take up the job? Which means that, you know, uh, please don't go in there and say, that, uh, you know, this one's salary doesn't match my expectation. Then, so, I say, yeah. right, so, no, that's what Rob Wealth is. Huh, right? So, you need to do whatever necessary to basically secure the job. Right? Grab the job. Right? Carol. That's the thing, Carol. June month is good for TF to look for job. June month. Oh, yeah, take a look at June month. Gone already. <laughs> Carol, you can go back, look at you. I have an interview, but no news for two weeks already. So uh, do I have chance of getting the job? Uh, Carol, this sort of question, usually we will use Chi Men to answer. Right, so uh, let me take a look. Uh, Ren Yin Man. Uh, you got a Ren Yin, uh, Yin, 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 Yushi, um, nothing much. Pretty much quite okay, right? This month should be. Right, so it's a combined month for you, right? So... Uh, you might want to give a call to them. I don't know how, uh, what you call, how um, proactive you are in terms of, you know, talking to your prospective employer, right? So you might want to give a call to them. No, because uh, you need to understand, right? At this current moment, uh, even your employer right now cannot prioritize you. So uh, they cannot put you into them. Okay. So, uh, Rina, let's take a look at you, your question, uh, run water, right? So, uh, in a good, are you born in a good year, right? So, and in a horse month, okay, uh, will be a moderator for a big event, okay, uh, in July, July, ooh, okay, what's right? Okay, uh, because of the good year, you need to be very careful of reputation related matter. Be really careful uh, because you're on a public event. Uh, try not to approach any controversial topic uh, because of the clash, very obviously, uh, very obviously because of the clash. Uh, but it will help you in terms of your career, this particular move. So it's really about uh, how you handle the public. Right? The public side will be a bit more uh, chaotic. Right? So... Um, Again, a uh, uh, controversial topic, steer off of it, uh, especially if you've got people during your event that is hugely unsatisfied because of the, you know, whatever that's happening around them. It's, it's, not, it's maybe not because of the event. They are just unsatisfied generally with their life and they are using the event as a, you know, as a venue to voice out their unhappiness on things right so you need to be able to handle this sort of situation right just just be careful of reputation related matter so if you've got this you know uh, learn how to move everything off stage to handle handle all these kind of things Offstage, which means that you uh i don't know if you're doing an online event uh get ready the you know lock this person up button <laughs> Pop, hit the button lock him somewhere else first and then uh deal with him behind the scene Okay. All right, uh, Eileen, uh, do you need to lie low if you are run water? You need to know that if you go and engage the attention, there is certain repercussion. 
Right? So you want to be high and mighty, right? Get ready for the repercussion of being high and mighty. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Get ready for the repercussion. Doesn't really mean that you need to lie low. So I usually say that, you know, is it is it worth uh, your time to go in and do this thing, right? So now again, always ask yourself, right? Does it need to happen this way? Just that small question only ask yourself. This thing that's happening right now, do I need to react and respond in it this month? Can it be put forward to next month? What's wrong with putting forward to next month? So of course, you now uh, the hurting officer is up, right? If this particular month you really want to go famous, right? Go ahead, lor. You know, go ahead, go viral, famous on on yourself. Then thereafter, you know, see how to clean up your <laughs> problem. See how you're gonna do all, all the you know problematic cleanup. Okay, so uh make an expression of interest to change department in September. September is when oh, okay, okay, coming September, right? Uh the role will grow your career and income, so that's good. Uh day master run yin, so run waterman is wu zi. Okay, that's good, that's good. You know, this year you know you make a career change, it's a good year for you to do that. Uh, because the ox and the rat is a combined, so it's good for you to you know do something to clean, clean your weight. Uh, so cho, uh, pretty much quite okay. Right, so uh, successful. What is your uh, you? Go. If you're doing it in September, then pretty much it's okay. Uh. Right, so if you're doing it right now, then you know uh, no fun. Tell you first, uh, if you're doing it right now, it's no fun because the uh, horse come in. The horse is already a uh, harm to your right and it's a clash to your year right so if you're doing it in this month a pretty much crash land yourself okay so don't don't do it this month okay not a good time for you to do it this month so if you plan to go for september it's pretty much it's quite okay right so uh, let me just see jack jacqueline 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 huh? Is there a different uh, HODO clash at heavily and HO heavy clash? Uh, of course, there's a different uh, branch, branch clash is more painful than uh, what you call stem clash. Stem clash is uh, appeared to be having problem. If a branch clash means that you are having the problem, that's the only difference. In terms of handling, it depends on how you handle the situation. For some people appear to having a problem is a big issue if you are a celebrity. If you are not a celebrity, actually having the problem is a problem already. Okay. Uh MMC. Kung Dragon Day. So it's a Kung person, a tiger month. Tiger year. Okay. Trying to look for job, but no ever. Looking for advice. Uh MMC, you might want to uh, use a combination of um Feng Shui and also a combination of Qi Men. So uh, next month, the South and the West is pretty awesome combination. So you might want to find somebody to find an activation date for you to do a bit of an activation. Right, especially the West sector next month. Okay. Shalice, let's take a look at Shalice. Okay, uh, 几十 day master with a Ren Zi Man. Okay, Zi Man is pretty much Ren Shi year. Is there anything to take note of for your career this month? Uh, again, okay, you know, career is a harm relationship with your Zi. So, uh, don't go and suspect stuff that is not that. So, you know, when you talk to harm, I always tell people this, right? So, watch ghost movie. The most scary part is when the ghost is not on screen. Right? That's the part where you scare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that is usually the harm situation. In the harm situation, you always create a lot of non-existing scenario for you. You know your doubt, your you know your fear, all those things basically come up, right? So now overall, because of the uh, zi chou is a com combination, right? In terms of your career, you know your boss is basically there, right? They are basically there to assist you. You know, so put a bit of a trust in it. Right? That's all. Right, Winnie Leong here, Sin Hai with Keng Yin Man. Right, there's a lot of Tiger Man people. So next year should be a very exciting year for all of you. <laughs> How can I leverage on the month energy to uh, convert sales? So you want to convert sales, right? Sin uh, Metal, let's take a look at Sin Metal. 
So uh, sin matter energy, when you take a look at it, is basically indirect wealth and indirect resource. Right? So now this combination is talking about unconventional way of uh, making money. You need to deploy some unconventional tactic in terms of uh, making money. Right, so uh, you are already on wealth star already. So the uh, what we call your uh, tiger man is already your direct wealth. Right, so uh, basically you need to think of a um, way to make money that normally the rest of the people would not touch. You know, you will start to see sign of people coming to you and giving you signal uh, on how to basically like uh, this year you are together with the fan star. Right, so uh, the easiest thing is basically to ask around. Hey, what have you been doing? Uh? What have you been doing? Uh? What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Uh? It sounds like a spy, but then you see that, oh, you've been doing that. Uh? You know, take that as a tips on you know, what to do. Okay, David KK. Uh? Right, so uh, let's take a look. David here, does the ox in the month very challenge this month? Uh, if you got an ox inside the month like me, okay, so uh, a lot of attention will go towards you. And for me specifically, I got hurting officer somewhere, which means that super a lot of attention. And so, uh, same animal sign in same animal sign means grand duo. Uh, just tell you all the attention is on you. Right? So, uh, unless you want to be like dead famous, then maybe it's a good thing to do. If not, <sighs> careful. <laughs> Don't go and do illegal stuff. No. <laughs> It's all right, you know, don't worry about that. Right, so, uh, Ping Shui, you are a Ping Shui, right? So, it's a Ping Day Master, uh, Tiger Man, so another Tiger Man coming up. Does it mean that I need to share my knowledge, like, uh, story? No, no, just generally, you know, do a bit of a sharing out with, with people. It's pretty simple. Don't, don't make it too complicated. No, really, you know, it's like, uh, imagine you're meeting a bunch of children, and then, you know, you're going to tell them about your great adventure in the high mountain. That's all, you know, why you need to make it so difficult, right? So, you know, you, you just, you just tell them, you know, how, you know, inspire people and like, inspire people how awesome your last year and what, what have you done? You know, really concentrate on things that you have done that works. So that will give inspiration on other people to do things uh, that they might have not done. That's all I need. You just want to inspire people, right? So talk to a bunch of kids, that is, just treat everybody around you like a bunch of kids who sit around grandpa. Grandpa tells story, you know, you know, last time when grandpa is your age. All right, so, you know, you start your story with, you know, uh, half a year ago, I was in exact situation like you all. all right, and start to tell, you know, what are the things that you have done. Right, you survived for so long, you know, you must have done something like right? Actually, Pink Fire this year, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome year for... Right, uh, Regine, Chow, I got a uh, Geox in the day pillar. Okay, Geox in the day pillar is all right. And uh, Dog at Man. Okay, Dog at Man, uh, pretty much quite okay. And yeah, a very challenging month for me. No, lah. Uh, normal, normal. Normal, normal. Uh, the challenging part is on your relationship, uh, Regine. Right, so the clashing is on your relationship. So I would uh, take care of your health first. Under this sort of situation, uh, health is primary. All right, take care of your health first. Uh, Joey, uh, what can I max? Uh, what can I max my opportunity for job hunting after graduation? Female, Xin Yu Day Master, Ren Shi Man, Ren Shi Man, Dog Man. Uh, going through the way luck pillar. Okay, luck pillar clash. Uh. This year, luck pillar clash, luck pillar clash externally not very stable, so pretty much quite okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, so, seen this year, and uh, what is that? Seen Xu, Xu, Ren Xu, Xin and Ren Xu, a thing of a man, a thing of a man combined with wealth. Uh, do a bit of selling on yourself, uh, pretty much quite easy. Uh, sell your, uh, when you go for interview, when you talk to people, don't talk the normal thing, okay? Uh, you need to talk a little bit more short-term solution, okay? Don't talk about long-term. Uh, in today market, don't talk long-term, talk short -term. <laughs> Talk about short-term benefit that you can bring to people, okay? Don't talk long-term. 
uh, at this current moment, talking long term is of no use. Okay. Right. Uh, Kazi, uh, Ren Chen Day Pilot, does it mean not to uh, advise to resolve relationship issue in July? But nothing to do with that. Right. So, you know, it's basically pretty much quite okay. Now, Kazi, I, I don't know what relationship issue uh, you have. Uh, so, we need to know because when we talk about relationship, it's a two person chart. Maybe the crazy fella is your partner. Okay. Right, so if day master is the weakest element in the chart, usually we don't care whether your day master is weak or not. Weak element. Should I use the reading for my strongest element on my chart? Uh, no, don't bother about that. Right, so whether the chart is weak or strong, you know, do not bother about it. Right, so you know, um, that method of reading doesn't really prescribe very well. So I just give you a very description. You are hungry. Whether the place serves the food that you like or they serve the food that you do not like, does it matter? Eat. Settle your hunger first. Right? Don't die first, then only bother about the rest. Okay? So learn how to use everything. Doesn't matter whether it's useful or not useful. Right? Uh, JC, right? Uh, Ji Yu Day and Ting Mao Man, how to plan this month? Action with 7k energy is very high. Uh, they come and attack me. Uh, 7k energy is not actually uh, anybody come and attack you. It just basically means that this particular month, you need to respond in a faster manner to the changing things as around you. Seven killing means that again, it's a punch that is thrown at you. When a punch is thrown at you, you've got no time to think. You need to respond to it. Right. So it's just that the way that you assess situation right now, you need to be very careful. Okay. So it's like, you know, when people throw you a punch, you know, you try to move aside and then you forget that there's a wall here and you go palm. Ah, you hit the wall. Right, so those are the things that you need to do. No, nothing wrong with the 7K energy. The energy itself is not dangerous. It's how you react to it. Right, so 7K, uh, basically, uh, just just imagine 7K is somebody jabbing adrenaline into you. Right, so you've seen movie before, right? They jab adrenaline into you, suddenly, you know, like super soldiers even. <laughs> that rage mode. Uh. You know, if you play game before, you know, there's this rage mode, you know, the one that has a lot of fire coming out, and then, you know, it's like, oh, suddenly become, you know, double the power, half your defense, and then you get very powerful. Then after a while, you go flat. On that. that is 7K. Okay? CM Lin. Uh, Day Master Jia Shen Wan is Yi Si. Okay? All right, good. So at least there's a combined there. Year is Ding Wei. Year is Ding Wei. Uh, so uh, any opportunity on business collaboration uh, this month? Uh, if your clashing now is basically your year and you are in business, be careful of market changes. Okay, be very careful of uh, market changes. Um, uh, generally, not really too good for business collaboration. You have to, uh, you have to really um, take a look at your current business. Um, no, repeating customer group. Uh, whether you have backup, right? You basically need to take a look at the backup for the uh, repeating customer group. Uh, there's a, a lot of number four around, <laughs> right? Uh, Ji Day Master Wei Hour, right? So Wei Hour, no, don't bother about the Ren Chen Man. So you got the Chen Man. Uh, I, I see that it's a good clash in the year and hour. Okay, right? So, uh, luck pillar in the year of Ox. Okay, what I need to uh, Take note of in term of business. Uh. Uh, in term of business, you need to take note of your employee. That's where your uh, hour come in. That's your employee. And second thing, take care of your market. Uh, for business, your market and both your employee is basically under drastic changes. It can affect your business quite badly. You know? As in, no employee, no market. All right, so a uh, fine alternative and basically transform your business a little bit. Okay, do a bit of a transformation in terms of your business. Right, so uh, both this is very very important in terms of your company cash flow. Okay, so just be careful of that. Johnson, let's take a look at Johnson. Right, so, right, last question already. Ah, uh, uh, 
office is calling me, telling me that they need the uh, channel back. <laughs> Getting raided by office. Uh, Gui Water, that's Gui Water with uh, uh, Yin Earth Man. Okay, Yin Earth Man. Okay. And uh, Clash Min need to change method of solving issue or the opportunity to change job. Uh, if you are clashing on your man, uh, mean that the you will be forced to adopt a new working uh, method, right? The new working method can be from a new job, right? So now depending on the situation you are in, so again, you know, a lot of things is depending on the situation you are in. But generally, clash is something that is forced upon you, right? So something is being forced to you that is called a clash. It's just remember clash mean that two opposing energy is fighting each other. So it's never fun to have clash. But is it something that you can manage? Is something that is quite manageable as long as you know that hey, shit will happen. I need to handle it. So get ready to basically do a bit of a handling. You no, know, don't worry, it's just a one month thing. Uh, just remember a few things, you know, you need to keep on going your mind. It's a one month thing, right? So yes, it's a critical month for the entire year because it's the year breaker. Right? So it's the year breaker. And it is also the point whereby the energy switch from the heat energy of the upper year into the cold energy of the lower year. So you can see that a lot of things is switching. Right? So uh, you can see that those of you whereby, you know, your chart is generally very hot one, you will start to lose potency. For those of you who are generally cold one your child, you will start to increase potency. Right, so this is the timing for you. All right, guys, uh, that's all the time that I have for this particular session. Thank you for all of you who is basically joining in here. Right, so uh, you know, see you guys again. Bye bye.